Yama, Blue Byron, Capital of the Gold Mara Gabby Camilleray. Yama, I come from, means welcome. Blue Byron is my skin name. Um, Capital of the Gold Mara Gabby, that's my father, uh, that's my grandmother and my grandfather's clan groups, which is my bloodline connection to the Camilleray Nation. Um, and I also have bloodline connection to the Kerm and the Marawari uh, Nations, all three uh, Emu Dreaming, and uh, are situated um, close to New South Wales, the Queensland border, Camilleray. Going over the border. <clears throat> and just like this too, you know, I'd like to pay my respects, you know, to the Yagara and the Turbo Nations. Um, and also, you know, reiterate that, you know, sovereignty was never ceded here, you know, um, on our continent. Um, and that, you know, um, <clears throat> you know, that's the basis of my discussion, you know, tonight is based around that there. Um, so yeah, you know, like um, about two years ago, like uh, we heard of the discussion of um, constitutional recognition, but originally that started in 2007 uh, with the uh, um, John Howard uh, Liberal government as a last ditch effort uh, to get, I guess, the black votes to keep them in. You know, he said you know, he'll put a platform up, you know, to start a campaign to recognise Aboriginal people to the constitution. You know, so originally, you know, like. When we talk about something you know, such as you know, constitutional recognition, you know, we've got to go back to you know, the origins, you know, and recently where it started was there. You know, then we can go back to a place like 67, you know, where they added us into the constitution and <coughs> they gave us the right to vote. You know, and then, then we can go back further you know, to 1901, you know, when uh, Australia was federated, and then um, look at the whole situation, not just here, but also around the world, you know, around those times. You know, um, so when the country was federated, um, they excluded our people. You know, um, as everybody knows, as fauna, as fauna and flora, which you know relates to uh, um, wheat and cattle. You know, and then like at that time, when we looked around the globe at other indigenous nations and how, you know, at that time, you know, uh, what, you know, what kind of platform was they at? You know, so when you look at places like New Zealand. In 1910, they had the first Maori president, uh, prime minister. Sorry, you know, we're talking about 1910. Mm -hmm. So, sorry, 1911. You know, so 10 years prior, we were excluded. You know, places. Um, I don't know if any of you have heard about the Sami. They're indigenous peoples to Europe. Um, uh, in Sweden, I think around uh, Norway um, and some other countries. You know, and in 1920, they had their own parliament. You know, so they've been talking about self-determination, you know, as a people. They've been having this discussion for quite some, for, for, for quite some time. Same as the Maori people. You know, then we can look at, you know, um, <coughs> sorry, uh, native peoples in, you know, North America, you know, and also in South America, you know, have been implementing, you know, self-determination, you know, for quite some time. You know, after the processes of decolon of colonization, you know, was still being impacted on them, you know, while um, you know, they've uh, actually, you know, come up with, I guess, ways to survive. You know, when you look at, you know, Indian, sorry, uh, native, uh, natives, you know, in America with the treaties, you know, they, you know, like when we talk about, you know, um, like internationally how indigenous peoples, you know, um, I guess, have, you know, um, advanced, if we want to use that word, more than what we have is because of, a platform of treaties, not to say that, you know, these treaties have been, you know, the best thing and, you know, they've actually, you know, um, um, kept up the terms, you know, with these treaties, but what that's actually had was a platform, you know, for like economical, you know, um, self-sufficiency. And when, you know, nations talk about um, having a, uh, going into partnership, into an agreement, this is the stuff that they talk about, this economical power. You know, so looking internationally at that there, you know, which brings us, you know, I'll come back here now. You know, um, in 2015, you know, we've seen our, you know, the Recognised Campaign go all over the country. You know, and then other communities you go to when you ask them about the Recognised Campaign, they, you know, honestly say, you know, what is it? You know, what is constitutional recognition? You know, and um, we've got to question it, of course. You know, and we've got to, we've got to question the root, you know, that stemmed from it. You know, you know, and we've got to ask about the position that the people are in that are pushing that, and the position that we're in, 
you know, when we're talking about you know, how we got here in 2015. You know, then we've got to talk about the relationship about these two different groups with each other, you know, and also about how you know we came to be in 2015. You know, because the big thing is about looking at the relationships you know, that we have. You know, and since you know 1788, it's been a relationship of um, colonizer and colonized. You know, it's been, um, you know, as everybody knows, it's been you know the white way or you know the black way. You know, uh, when you listen to people, you know, they always say, you know, there's two laws here. You know, one you know, for the white man, one for the black man. You know, um, and in saying the white man, not mean like a white person, mean a white structure. You know, so when we hear mobs say, oh, you know, f this, you know, white fella, it's all to do with a with a system, uh, uh, with a sorry, with a with a structure, um, and that they, you know, so like, like just understand, you know, that that more. Um, but you know, like it's it, it, it's um. So when, you know, like, like I was saying before about nations going in, uh, into uh, an agreement and um, having treaties, you know, it's about you know, two parties coming together, you know, and talking about real, you know, um, our, our power sharing, you know, and um, it's it, it, we're like, we've got to ask this nation, you know, is this nation ready, you know, for something such as that, you know, um, and of course it's not. You know, because at the moment what we see is, you know, uh, 200 communities, you know, 150 in Western Australia and about 50 in South Australia you know, being proposed to be shut down. You know, we're talking about, you know, uh, the over incarceration. You know, when we look at the, the stats right there, it's um, 10 times higher than South Africa when they had the apartheid regime in the 80s and the 70s. You know, we're talking about, you know, the rate that they're, you know, stealing our children. You know, um, you know, which is a five-fold increase, you know, since the Royal Commission in the early 90s. You know, um, you know, we're talking about, you know, the rate that, you know, our mob are, you know, causing self-harm, you know, and, and, and sadly passing away from that. You know, like, these are the things, these are the discussions you know, that we're going to have, you know, in our communities, you know, um, in our urban communities also, you know, because it affects us lot, you know, in, in, in urban settings because, you know, because uh, the most part of Aboriginal people <coughs> living in cities is, you know, mob living off country, you know, um, you know whether, whether it's uh, looking for a better life or because of, you know, uh, family trauma or being forced to be removed and put in these positions, you know, like these are the relationship things, you know, that we've got to come to terms to, you know, these are the things, you know, that, you know, not Australia has to work. Um, answer to, you know, we have to start talking about this. You know, and then when we start talking about these things, you know, then we start having a clearer idea and an understanding of the situation we're in and where can we make that? And where can we, you know, what platform can we get to? And then when we get to that platform, <coughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> recognition um, is that native title um, or you know, some more government legislations you know which hold us back you know from being you know what we really are you know like we gotta you know um, sit down and ask ourselves you know where do we want to be in 10 years you know with this campaign coming to a head in 2017 you know they want to push a campaign or you know like the campaign to, you know, to recognize us in the Constitution referendum you know if we can you know, start a proper campaign, you know, which opens the door for, you know, many things, whether it's treaty, you know, whether it's uh, independence, you know, whether it's, you know, some people, some people are talking about a seventh state, seventh Aboriginal state, which wouldn't be situated in one particular state, but all the, all the land given back to Aboriginal people. Um, you know, these are the possibilities, you know, um, and when we talk about these things, it's endless, you know, and, and as an example, you know, in New Zealand, you know, in North America, South America, you know, with the Sami, you know, with Asian nations, with African nations, you know, 
Um, not to say that we copy their style, we couldn't because we're totally different, you know, but, you know, um, we can look at that there, you know, uh, we, we flew on Aboriginal passports, they wanted to port us when we got, when we got to Canada, <coughs> um, but we only used them when we came back. Uh, like we got into the country by using the Aboriginal passports, but they didn't stamp that there, and we didn't show them the Aussie passport either. So they just got tired of us arguing with, them, or with them and just told us to come back into the country. But, you know, that there in itself is an act of self-determination. You know, that's not an act of, you know, um, government legislation, you know, or policy. You know, and like these are the conversations that we need to have. You know, is um, how far do we want to push self-determination? You know, um, like I said, Jay, 2017 is coming up very fast. You know, so let's you know, start organising in our communities and having these discussions and saying, you know, let's, you know, you know let's, you know, you know, let's let them push it, you know, to, uh, to 2017. But then when they get the question, we say no to their yes, and then we say, you know, independence, treaty, whatever. You know, um, not to say that we're going to get it at our first go, because no, you look at places like Scotland recently, I think they were like, it was around about like 40, 60 um, last November when they went to their, uh, for their independence vote. And that was the third time that they had that um, referendum vote. And it was, it's not the third time, it's, it's not about the third time they lost. You know, it's about how many people, you know, um, wanted independence and wanted to be a Scotsman. You know, not, you know, not somebody from a, a British colony. You know, that's what we're going to ask ourselves. Do we want to be Aboriginal? You know, do we want to be Gumarai? Do we want to be Waka Waka? You know, do we want to be Kalali? Do, do we want to be Birigaba? You know, and like uh, those are the things that we're going to ask ourselves and how far do we want to push that? You know, because only we can you know, push that as far as, you know, as we can. You know, and like, um, you know, um, a good example you know, is you know, uh, the Scottish at the moment. You know, um, in one of their rallies, they had 30,000, you know, Scots rally. You know, um, just recently, you know, we had just under, I think it was estimated about 10,000 that rallied, you know, against the closure of Aboriginal communities. You know, but if we could generate the exact same, you know, momentum, you know, but for a push, uh, for something that we're enacting, um, for self-determination, instead of being a bit more reactive, you know, we'll have a more broader um, scope to, I guess, you know, to ask these questions, you know, um, you know and, and, then, and then it's that question of, you know, like, there's about 27,000 people that, you know, go to an All-Stars game or, or goes to the, uh, uh, what is it, uh, the Dreamtime at the G, you know, how about we shift that, their consciousness, you know, and have, you know, 27,000 people all over the country or just in, in each state, you know, march and rally. You know, the majority of those people, you know, being Aboriginal. You know, um, and, 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 and it's a hard thing to deal with also, you know, because of the fact of, you know, um, the things we deal with as Aboriginal people. You know, um, you know, like, like a lot of our mob, you know, are below the poverty line, not just in, in our remote communities. You know, talking about, you know, communities here in Brisbane, you know, in Nala, Wurundjeri, Education Ridge, you know, place over Stradbroke Island. You know, a lot of these places still, you know, live in, you know, the effects. You know, and um, you know, like one thing we got to do, you know, because you know, when we talk about you know sovereignty, self determination, treaty, independence, they're all hang You know, it's the thing that's in between that. It's that structure of nation building. You know, and how do we do that? And how do we come, on, you know, come about that? Uh, you know, how are we going to enact nation building? You know. But we must remember, you know, that before 1788, we ran this country. You know, we ran this continent, sorry. You know, for over 60,000 years, you know, that was, you know, over three to 400 different nations, you know, um, running, you know, running this continent, you know, equally, you know, and, and, and not the um, equality that, you know, Australia pushes you know, which is you know, to be like them, to talk like them, and to sing like them. And we're talking about equality, you know, where a whole nation had their own law, you know, but also came back, you know, to that one law, which was, you know, the law between each other as humans and the law between us and the land, 
you know, once we understood that, you know, we understood that, you know, for quite some time. And I think that's why, you know, we coexisted for so long. You know, but there's nothing, you know, that says that we can't run our own affairs, you know, and run this country once again. You know, um, and the only thing stopping that is our self-doubt, because we choose not to. You know, we've got to start choosing to believe, you know, and, um, you know, if we, if we start choosing, you know, uh, to go down that road, you know, things like, uh, you know, uh, in the 70s, you know, when we first had our medical centres, our legal services, our, our organisation started because our people believed, you know, that we, you know, could service our own people. You know, we, like, we need to galvanise around the same thing, you know, that mob galvanise around, around our flag. You know, um, black fellows of any, you know, political, um, uh, I guess the agenda what they have, you know, still calls that flag our flag. You know, we, we, we need to build, you know, a momentum that's going to push our mob like this flag does. An exact same, you know, for our mob over there with the, with the Torres Strait flag. You know, like these are the things, you know, we've got to think about, you know, and it's, you know, realising, um, you know, that these things stem from, you know, things like, you know, going back to country and being connected and understanding, you know, that our relationships with our country existed, you know, with our neighbouring nations also. You know, it was extremely linked, you know. Um, you know, but, you know, I think, you know, those are the things, you know, that, um, you, know, <clears throat> you know, helps in that course of nation building. You know, a lot of the things that we've seen over in Canada is um, it took us about three and a half weeks to drive the whole country from from west to east stopping off and visiting different First Nations communities that are involved in, you know, uh, blockading mining companies, um, you know, you know, in, in like the deep forest that they, you know, took us, you know, like hours to drive and find these, find these, um, like outposts, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, or in, in, in the cities, you know, um, you know, a, a lot of the things that they did was based off, you know, um, their law and their ceremony, you know, um, and it came back to that. And that built their understanding of, you know, we need clean water to survive. You know, so that's why a lot of the mob, you know, um, um, you know, blockaded mining mining companies, you know, and um, a lot of the mob in the city were saying, you know, we need, you know, to protect our women. Because over there they have a big uh, epidemic of uh, missing and murdered women, you know, being you know, killed by you know, truckies and police officers over there. It's, it's you know, the numbers high, it's crazy. You know, but what they say is, you know, we need our women, you know, to be our leaders. You know, because, like, they're pretty much the same as some of us nations. They, they, they go by their mother's line. But, you know, over there, um, they had these things called warrior societies. And they were based, you know, on reconstruction, you know, reconstructing, you know, um, I guess their livelihood before colonisation, their language, you know, their law, their ceremony, you know, and also uh, resisting, you know, colonial... Um, Legislations, policies, urbanisation of um, the land, you know, mining, you know, all these structures, you know, and that, and that was all underpinned, you know, by this understanding of, of law and culture, you know. Um, but you know, like just like over there and here, you know, we have a lot of mob that, that is lost, and you know, it's a, a long, hard battle, you know, for those, you know, mob to find that, you know. But um. <coughs> But, you know, like within this sea of fight, you know, we can ask, you know, the question, you know, that um, not just changes, you know, the scope of how we see this nation, you know, but how every person that calls themselves Australian see this nation. You know, um, you know and, 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 and um, it's not about, you know, once we get sovereignty, we kick every white person out. It's hard to do that. As, 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 as much as some black holes would like to, that was a joke. <laughs> um, dry joke. <laughs> nah, but you know, like, um, it, you know, it's, it's a hard possible thing to do, you know, and it's about, you know, building forward and, you know, making this, you know, a nation for everybody, you know, and, and actually understanding that, you know, pre-colonisation, you know, we had, you know, people from other, other nations from outside of, you know, our continent, you know, come here and, and live our way. You know, but it's, it's, it's about, you know, um, Having a having a big understanding, you know, and and like <clears throat> the government, you know, is, isn't ready, you know, to have this discussion, 
know, and the, and the discussion doesn't lie with them. It lies with the people, you know, um, you know, they give that power to the government. You now we're going to take that back. You now we're going to start having that discussion. You now we're going to start, you know, um, you know, um, having more discussion with each other. You now because we just seen on Saturday, you know, there was nationwide rallies, you know, for this uh, reclaim Australia. These fellows trying to reclaim something that you know they didn't belong to them in the first place, and trying to reclaim it back from, you know, uh, some you know, small ethnic groups that are supposed to be taken over with. Halal food, <laughs> which is, yeah, you know, um, but you know, like it, it, it's seeing, you know, you know how, you know, um, you know, from from the grassroots we need to build this. You know, we're talking about a campaign that's been supported up to date, you know, by fifteen million dollars. You know, um, you know, to push this campaign nationally, and I think for the next, or well, for the for the last five years when they got their last. Um, sum of money, you know, um, and we're talking about a campaign, you know, that pays, you know, our people, you know, to push that agenda, you know, and a lot of our people that push that agenda don't really understand what the campaign's about, you know, or, you know, some of our mob that's, you know, disconnected, you know, from the community, from, or from our communities, you know, um, you know, like when we look at a place like Scotland, you know, um, when they had their referendum, you know, uh, fight the last three times, you know, that started, you know, that, that was equally, you know, um, I guess funded or you know, equally, you know, on, on the playing field. You know, same as when they, they wanted to have, I think it was the Republic, you know, same thing there, you know, equal, you know. Um, like this government's not ready, you know, to have this discussion. That's why we got to be ready to have this discussion. Each every person in this country, you know, even, you know, new arrivals that just got here last week got to be ready to have this discussion. You know, because this is the future of our nation, of our continent. You know, um, you know, and, 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 and how it's, you know, do we want to go, you know, over another 50 years of, you know, destroying, you know, land, you know, for mining, you know, to be back to what it originally was. You know, um, it's, you know it's, it's about making that responsibility you know, it's not a lifestyle choice. It's a responsibility, you know, that we must understand, that we've got to push. Um, you know, it's, it's, um, you know, it, it, it's something, you know, that you know, our old fellows did, you know, in the 70s with the organisations, you know, and with the referendum call back in the day. You know, um, my old man comes from Moree, that was one of the communities, uh, one of the towns that voted no against the referendum. Um, <coughs> And um, you know, it's you know about um, you know like actually you know um, having this discussion in, in all places, you know, workplaces, schools, you know, uh, down the road, you know, at the pub, you know, like these are the, the places where the discussion needs to be had. You know, needs to be had by the people, you know, because you know that's where the power lies. You know, once we take our power back, you know, we can change a nation. You know. Um, you know, and, and, and like that's you know, where the big picture is, and it's you know, what are we going to do? What are we going to ask in 2015? You know, when they want to have a referendum call. You know, do we want independence? Do we want treaty? Do we want so, you know, Do we want these these big words? You know, constitutional recognition is a big word. You know, um, what I'll do now is. Um, I'll just give you some info on the recommendations also. Um, uh, like these are the proposed, uh, some of the, the uh, proposed amendments you know, that was um, done up by uh, the panel, expert, expert panel. You know, talking about things like um, Australia, the English language will be the official language you know, of Australia. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander language will be cultural heritage, you know, like a lot like behind a glass. You know, like those images over there, you know, they'll, you know, they'll be just you know, images, you know. Um, when we look at places like New Zealand, you know, Maori, English and sign language are their official language. There's no order which one goes first or last, you know. Um, you know, like one of the proposed amendments is that they acknowledge the continuing um, occupation of Aboriginal people, you know, um, no mention of sovereignty or, 
or, or ownership, you know, within this. You know, um, another one of the amendments is they actually remove the Racial Discrimination Act, um, so they can't implement laws for the benefit of Aboriginal people. But then in that, that's um, that section. And that's section, the removal of section 51, but then they introduced that called uh, a new section 51A. They implement that for the benefit you know, of Aboriginal people. You know, so things like you know, the NT interventions. You know, so how can we be ready to have a discussion you know, about a nation moving forward when it's almost been 10 years you know, that the Northern Territory have been under the intervention? You know, apartheid laws. You know, laws where, uh, you know, my boss, you know, I work at the radio station, Tiger Bales went to, uh, Alice Springs, and he had to pay $2 to go to the toilet. Black folks pay money to go to the toilet, white folks don't. You know, we're talking about, you know, um, the amount of, you know, uh, police abuse, you know, in, in the Northern Territory, you know, because of um, the amount of um, police presence, you know, whether they're on horseback or, you know, motorbike or on foot or in cars, you know. Um, <clears throat> you know how, how is the country ready to have a discussion, you know, when it's, you know, well, it's up to the 10th anniversary you know, all that there. You know, how, how can we, you know, how can this nation be ready, you know, for a, for, for a referendum if they're ready to you know, shut down our original communities? You know, um, that's what we've got to ask ourselves. And we've got to identify, you know, how, you know, how bad the situation is in our communities. You know, and, you know, the main thing that's pushing that, you know, is this, is the institutionalized racism, you know, which um, media pushes, you know, which you know, the government pushes hard, you know, especially um, you know, on, 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 on immigrants, you know, on, 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 on our new arrivals, um, and especially you know, in our schools, in our workplaces. You know, so like, when we're talking about a nation to be ready to have a conversation, you know, we're going to look, about, we're going to look at you know, the situations in the schools, you know, where they you know, still talk about us as being primitive, you know, um, talk about us as being you know, um, how, you know, Captain Cook just walked on the beach and, you know, he shot a few Aboriginal people and they were defeated or, you know, they or we gave the land over straight away, you know. Um, how is this nation ready to have a conversation, you know, um, when they're not recognising the frontier walls, you know, when uh, this in Queensland alone, there was like 30,000, you know, Aboriginal people, you know, they lost their lives in the frontier walls, you know. Um, um, you know, how, you know, like, these are the things that we've got to ask. You know, um, how far do we, you know, want to push this discussion? Because that's where, the, like I was saying, the discussion starts with us. You know, and here, you know, if you just tell, you know, a few more people um, outside, you know, uh, this room, then, you know, like, we're getting closer and closer, you know, um, you know to, to our goal to inform, you know, more people. And that's where it's, and then, like I said, that's where it starts. It starts in the schools and, the, you know, in the, on lunch, you know, at the pub, you know, after free, before free, you know, like this is where the this is where these discussions start, you know, and um, it's how far we want to push it, you know, um, uh, you know, um, you know, the sky's the limit, you know, when, when you know when we want to talk, how far do we want to push it, you know, because we've got to believe and we've got to choose to, you know, we honestly got to choose to see how far we can push this, you know. Um, and, and, and it's about, you know, having that person next to you, you know, and, and how far they're going to push it as well. You know, because our, you know, like our, our discussion, you know, lies in the communities, you know, not, you know, legislation or being pushed by someone like Abbott or, or even someone like Rudd or Gillard, you know, like these, you know, um, you know or, or even, you know, um, some of our sports stars and actors, you know, some who are, you know, out, who are out of touch. You know, with our communities. Not saying all of them, but some are. You know, we're out, we're, we're, we're out of touch with our communities. You know, um, you know like, like we can't put a box around the discussion that we want to have yet. You know, we can't tick something. You know, that people don't know. You know, um, you know where's that discussion going to go? You know, and, what, and how's that discussion you know, going to affect people? You know, um, you know, there's that like old saying, you know, like like when Native Title came in. Um, it was funny, you know, like there, there was all these adverts of, you know, uh, lock your land up, you know, because the Aborigines are coming to steer, to, uh, take it back. You know, there's old ads in the early 90s, um, you, know, with, you know, like even even though, you know, Native Titles, you know, 
the government pushed an agenda, you know, you know they still had you know like this this counteract, you know, to it as well. Ready, you know, but like I said, you know, and I'll keep saying this discussion, you know, lies, you know, uh, in the community, you know, and it's um it, it, it's a bottom, you know, up thing. You know, we can't come, you know, from the from, from the top and go down, you know. Um, because you know, like that's what you know, a fifteen million dollar campaign is doing. You know, it's coming from the top and going down. You know, and like that's where you know um, the big disconnection is coming from. You know, because it's not you know coming you know from a grassroots perspective. It's not coming from the perspective of us here right now. You know, um, but yeah, you know, like uh, I guess we'll open up for some questions. Yeah. Yeah, Jingle Island, man. Um, just with the US, like some of the Native Americans have got some form of sovereignty, is my understanding. Is that form of sovereignty within the American Constitution or outside of it? Um, like over there, with like with their reservations, like um, I'm just trying to remember, um, they have their own, you know, like, uh, like like their law works outside of like there's I think there's like like the official like government and then their state and then they have like these treaty laws which govern you know some of these um, uh, nations that they that are you know um, um, or, you know that, 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 that do still enact. You know, their treaty and still are pretty self-sufficient because a lot of them you know, um, have like casinos you know attached to their reservations that they, you know, they can generate you know quite some money you know then like I think like the Navajo is like one of the biggest nations there you know um, they have their own police force you know um, all, like like a lot of a lot of native communities I think the Inuit up in uh, <coughs> by the north of Canada they have their own you know like police force their own hospitals you know. Um, um, because of you know like the you know that like they can generate money you know from from these treaties and also you know from um, you know, trawlers and you know like the um, percentages that you know like they get back you know from um, like from government you know to enact a lot of this stuff you know but you know like like government legislation can't give you sovereignty you know that's you know, something we enact ourselves you know and, and you did it just then you know with um, you know you introduce yourself or you know, acknowledging you know, myself and you know, there, but you know, like um, yeah, you know, like um, you know, um, you know, I guess through what through, through white law over there, yeah, you know, like their their laws recognised, but you know, to say that you know they need, like need that to be recognised outside of, I guess you know, like the uh, like the United States law, yeah, you know, like um, that's um, uh, they, like they've been doing that for quite some time. Um, you know, it's like they've had over like 300, 400 different you know, trees throughout the Americas or more, I think it is. You know, um, and, and, and a lot of them work differently because of um, the effects of colonization. You know, like when, when I was in Canada, um, oh, what's this nation called? Um, it was the last nation, last indigenous nation to sign a treaty with any colonial government, I think, in the world. That was 2000 and. 2001 or 2000, um, it's in BC, um, like British Columbia and Canada there on the, on the west coast. They have like three main villages. Uh, one has the government house on there, and the other one has <coughs> the museum, um, and then the other village is like by the sea, you know, um, and you know, like, like they get royalties, you know, um, uh, you know, and like, like, like they were talking about, you know, like, like, well, like we got to speak one of the officials when, like, when we were there in, in the government house too. It, it just looked like um, you know, any old like, you know, parliament house or you know, government house was just a bit smaller. You know, like they were talking, you know, like they were having a discussion with mining companies, you know, about um, you know, how much money they tax these miners, you know, and, you know, um, and like all, you know, all these different things. And then you know, we went to a, another reservation, you know, um, El Sepulto. Which is on the east coast, which is you know nothing like um, Unistoden. That's it, Unistoden. You know um, that's a, 
and I'm anxious to look at in terms of, I guess, a template for self education, you know, and like, I guess, life beyond, you know, like, uh, um, you know, creating a campaign or, or you know, protesting and marching, if that's what we want to call it, you know, that, that was life after that. You know, and it was like really, really good to see, you know, like these things, like, like the community looked, you know, totally different to Elsa Pop Talk, you know, like, you know, it's pretty clean and you know, pretty flash. You know, then like that's the Pope talk, you know, it was you know, totally different. You know, like that was one of the nations that we, when we visited, was just after they had a big standoff with like mining companies. You know, um, to say, you know, like both nations don't have their sovereignty, you know, we can't say that, but they, they both enacted, you know, but, you know, one went through, you know, government legislation, you know, and, and they went through that treaty process, I think, a hundred and, Hundred and thirteen years, I think, you know, they were going through this process of discussion um, uh, with the Canadian government. Um, the highway is actually named after that Highway One 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 Three, I think it's called. You know, like the like the, the one highway that gets into there. You know, but yeah, you know, like um, I guess it's um, it, it, it comes back to how they want to enact it, really.